It's fucking sauce pot. Today we got spaghetti and meatballs and I can't wait for you guys to see them. I just walked super close to the camera, but that's okay. I got milk, I got eggs, I got everything. Why do you even need that? I don't know, maybe you'll find out, maybe you won't. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Do you like the mustache? I like the mustache. Maybe I don't like the, I'm gonna shave it. I'm gonna shave it. You guys will see me with a Shane Cleave and oh, Start with my fucking meatballs. Meatballs are good for subs, for men, for women, for children. We're gonna make them. So if you wanna come on over here, I got two things of 80-20 ground beef and one thing of 93-7, just to give it a little bit more fat. We're gonna start out with some panko breadcrumbs, Italian style. Throw them in the aw. Uh, maybe don't use all of it. And then I got salt, garlic powder, black pepper, uh, red chili flakes, crushed up garlic, dried crushed up garlic, and then a little bit more Italian seasoning. You really kind of want to get these all flavorful. Um, I don't use bread because I think bread is for the devil and I'm not about it. So I think dry panko breadcrumbs are going to be perfect. Um, I'm going to crack three whole eggs in there and then add some milk, mix them up, and come on over. Crack them this way. You can crack them that way. And we've all done this. Introducing Easy Cracker. See that right now. Got some eggs going in there. You want to get the shells in there, preferably too. Oh my goodness, I'm not even a chef. Oh, I did that with one hand, do you guys see that? I'm fucking sick. Alrighty, get some milk in there. And we're just gonna mix this all together. Just get that all done. So, whatever, uh, I got it all mixed up. I'm gonna show you guys how to roll some balls out. Got a nice little rotation shit going on right here. Oh, we're getting wild and wacky. But, just take some uh, cooking spray, whatever you got. Really just like massage up the hands with some oil on them. And then you won't have any meat stickage. And if you had oil going, you can fry up your hands. There's meat getting everywhere. So I got about, I don't know, two ounces on these meatballs here. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, make them however you want. And we're gonna get them on a lined baking sheet and we're gonna bake these for about 10 minutes at 450 and then we'll braise them in a sauce. Yeah, I'm making my own sauce. Don't ask about the noodles. Don't have the equipment or the time or the knowledge really. Really, I don't, I don't have the knowledge on making nothing or for nobody. But that's gonna be a cut right here. So I never mess up. You think I dropped that on the floor? I was gonna waste that? I didn't. The pan was on the ground. It might've looked like it was on the oven, but it was on the ground. I promise you. All right. So we got these rolled out. Maybe they're not two ounce balls. Maybe they're a little bit bigger. I kind of went a little excessive, crazy about it. Other the Italians will be mad at me. I should, maybe I shouldn't mock people. I didn't, I sounded like Luigi that got hit over the head with a baseball bat. But we're gonna throw those in there for 10 minutes. While that's going, I'm gonna bring these two pots over here. One is just water. I'm gonna get that bo boiling, boiling. And then one is just gonna be the pan for the sauce. We're gonna braise the meatballs in this sauce after they're done out of the oven. So I'm just gonna get some olive oil in there. Uh, kind of a lot of olive oil. I kinda wanna see it cover the whole bottom of the pot. And then we're gonna work on this onion right here. And you want to get the onion in there first before any other ingredient because these will take the longest to go for. I kinda wanna get them translucent, golden colored. Watch me struggle while I take that off. That's okay, who cares? I don't, unless you guys do. If you guys care, leave it in the comments. Tell me that I'm a, I'm a bad boy. So we're just gonna get some slits in here. And get some more slits right here. Boom, boom, don't cut your belly open, Chrissy. All right. We're gonna get a small dice on these guys. 
And once these small diced onions are... Okay, I got it. Once these are done, we're gonna throw them in the pot, throw the heels out, eat those later as a midnight snack. Maybe you're watching like Game of Thrones or something, or Breaking Bad, and you're like, man, that episode, I should have cried. Go get the heels out of the sink. Maybe you threw them in the sink. Maybe you didn't throw them in the sink. But that's all right. We're going to go ahead and take these over here. Get them going. That was a large onion. Um, depending on how many people you're cooking for, like a large onion's fine. Maybe I should have went with the smaller onion. It just looked the prettiest, you know? Like sometimes you got to pick and choose the prettiest ones. And once you pick and choose the prettiest ones, your food becomes better. It doesn't. Pick the ugliest ones. Pick the ugliest onion you can ever find. Cut that one up and eat it. Cause you know what? It's an onion. It's gonna taste the same. Don't get like molded ones though. Moldy ones and stuff like that. <sighs> Y'all might get a little sick. Not me though. I, I eat stuff out of the garbage disposal. Like when I get stuck, I open up the garbage disposal. I take spoonful, whatever, okay. We're done with that. Um, I mean, I'm going to work on a shallot. Um, to be honest with you guys, to be honest with you, this was supposed to go in with the meatballs. It's not. So we're gonna be throwing a curveball. We're gonna cut that open, get that to the side. Look guys, maybe I should cut and just like clean this up, but I'll do it all in one go. There ain't no point in doing all separate occasions. And I'm just gonna thinly slice this up and you guys are going to see the next episode. Episode. Next cut right now. I got the smallest spatula I could find. It's kind of cute. It's got me on it if I had a white beard. But I got the onions kind of to where I want them. They're brown in a little bit. You don't want too much color on them. You do kind of just want them translucent, like I said. I'm going to get this garlic working. Just super thin, about five cloves will be fine. You know the hardest part about making these videos? I know everything. And I have to teach you guys. So maybe I forget to like put stuff in there or maybe I forget to just like be informidable. That's probably not even a word. But what I do know is this turns out great. So if you can jumble all the words that I put together and put them in a cooking book, it would turn out perfect. But all the stuff in between that I talk about, honestly, don't know if that needs to be in here. But we got it. You know, that's what we got. We got it. Oh, my goodness. Don't look over in this pan. Maybe it's a little burnt. Ah, you guys didn't see nothing. See, how I talked about how I know everything. It's probably not the truth. You want to know why it's not the truth? Because if I knew everything, I knew those were burning. They're probably scorching right now. They're probably burning. This is going to be ruined. I'm going to have to fend for myself. Hey, whoa. I told you not to look in there. Tee -hee. It's actually not that bad. It's pretty not that bad. Pretty not that bad. It's really not that bad. So we're going to keep moving on here. I got some tomato paste. Uh, if you want, you can skip this part and just go straight sauce, but I think this adds like a nice richness to it. Firstly, make a little spot and get this tomato, oh, I missed. Get this tomato paste in the center, get all of it out. Let that go for one second while I throw this into the sink. You just wanna cook this out. So this is just like flour or anything. Uh, you kinda just wanna mush this together Get everything kind of incorporated. Try to get this all nice and loose. And you just want to cook this down a little bit because it can be bitter if you don't cook it down all the way. So we're just going to mix this around. And once it's cooked down, because it takes about two minutes, two and a half minutes. But once it all breaks down and everything, I will show you guys the next steps. I love every single one of you, except for you. But I love you guys. So I got it kind of to the looseness that I want it to. So go ahead and just take any generic, like pasta sauce you want. If you wanna, <coughs> if you wanna crush any of your own tomatoes and stuff, you're more than welcome to. I'm gonna just get that in there. 
makes her around for a sec. And then scrape all the fond off of the bottom of the pot to add more flavor and stuff into it. I'm gonna go over here. Don't get the sink. Don't get the sink. Okay, she didn't get the sink. I'm just going to fill this up with some water and put it back in. And don't worry about it being loose. You guys are probably like, oh my goodness, like this is so loose, this is a loose sauce. Christian, you like misled us. In, in, this, in this whole scenario, you misled us. It's a loose sauce. It's gonna cook down. Wow, did I do that? I made a fucking mess. That's all right. But it's gonna, it's gonna cook down. It's gonna become a sauce. It's gonna boil away. All, this, all the water in the pot is gonna just simmer down and break down and look like a perfect, beautiful tomato sauce that you can spread on anything, your body, your car, maybe even toenails. Like, paint them up, paint them up. But uh, I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna clean up one more time. Sorry for the, the, the cut. I had to cut one more time, but we'll be on to putting everything together because the water's boiling. So maybe I'll show you guys that. The water's boiling. Give this about eight to 10 minutes. Um, this will be going off here soon. Sorry, I know I said I was gonna cut it, but I'm not. So, salt your water. Get some olive oil. Put it in there. It'll help it from not sticking. And then now, we'll go ahead and hit it with a cut. Love ya. You kinda know that this is done when you can... It doesn't wanna stick, but I tell... Who the fuck are you? Sorry for that. Yes, got an intruder. Got a new opponent that I gotta fight. But the noodles are done. Like I said, they're perfect. And I can save those for later. Um, I'm gonna throw in a quick clip right now. That clip you just saw was about all the meatballs and everything going in the pot. I lost all the footage for me doing that, but I did. They're good. Uh, I preferenced in there that baking them, it's like no mess at all. You just throw it in the oven, everything's perfect. The bottom gets brown and crispy and caramelized. It's amazing. So if you wanna come look over here, they're all sitting pretty. And now we're just gonna plate it up for you guys. I like to do just everybody kinda gets their own or like Papa Chef, Chrissy, We'll come in and serve you guys up. I'll come into all of you guys' houses, come and come again. But then also, what I'll do is make you guys some delicious dinner. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and finish her up here. Get some sauce on there. Looking like a Chad. Oh my, you know what guys? I might just open my own restaurant. I'm gonna quit YouTube, open my own restaurant. Call it two balls and a cock. <sighs> and just serve this. And just serve this. Alright, I need a fork. We're gonna try this out, baby. Raw. Not so raw. That's alright. We're just <laughs> we're gonna flip that one over. Maybe cook it a little bit longer than I did. Got no noodles. Hot meatball in my mouth. Mess everywhere. Didn't even cook these right. But that's all right. That tastes pretty good. And now I'm gonna send you guys off. I'm going to push you guys on a little boat. You guys are going to be sitting there. I'm going to shoot an arrow on fire at you guys and let you burn and see and have a happily ever after death. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.